The following demonstration will help give you an idea of how our new iPad app works with our Park Protector Playground Management software system. So the first step in creating inspections that you can download for your iPad app is to create them in the online system. So with an internet connection, we are, we're already at an organization and we are at Archdale Park. So to add a new inspection at Archdale Park, we go to the Add New Inspection tab, click it, and here we have a high frequency inspection, a low frequency, an audit, or an ADA audit. Here I'm going to do a low frequency inspection. I happen to be the inspector, and you can see it has a status of scheduled. It automatically brings in the inventory that we already have listed for the park. I'm saving that. Now we have a scheduled inspection on 10-2 uh, for Archdale Park. I'm also going to do another one, Cool New Park. It's a brand new park. We don't have any inventory, and we're going to be getting that inventory in the field. We're going to add an inspection. Again, I'm the inspector. We're going to make it a low-frequency inspection. There is no inventory yet, and we hit Save. So now we also have an inspection saved for Cool New Park. After you've added the inspections on the online system, you should be able to retrieve it on your iPad. You go to the iPad app. Here I'm already logged in as Scott Cunningham. I go to My Scheduled Inspections, and as long as you have an internet connection, it will download the inspections. Here you can see two, Archdale Park and Cool New Park are added to the list of inspections I have in the system. Now we're ready to do an inspection in the field. You can take this offline now that it's downloaded on your iPad and you do not need to have internet connection to actually complete your inspection in the field. Okay, now for demo purposes we're going to assume that we're at Cool New Park. And for Cool New Park we don't have any inventory listed. So I go to Current Edit on Inventory there are no inventory items to display. We don't have any inventory. We need to add it. You add equipment, the name, let's just say it's a swing. Choose an item. It is a piece of playground equipment. You choose the type. We have climbing equipment, slides, swings. The item, it, this particular swing is a three-legged swing. The manufacturer is game time. Comments if you want them. Now for photo, you click the photo, you can take a picture, and here I take a picture of my swing. We're assuming this is the only inventory item in this park. I click use, and now I have it. For additional details, you don't have to fill this out. You could fill out a date installed where it gives you uh, your, your calendar view, uh, an estimated replacement date, date removed, age group, if you want to put the age group, it's for all ages. The use zone, anything you'd want to put in here, you're able to put in here. I hit save. And now I have an inventory. So if I go back, I can now do an inspection. So you can see my inventory has changed. I could upload that, but I don't need to upload it. I can now start an inspection. As you can see on the inspection now, I have one inventory item, swings. I'm going to start an inspection. Are the warning labels and age signage present and legible? They aren't there, but we're going to say yes for this demo. Is equipment free of crush and shear? Yes. Free of entanglements, hazards, and protrusions? Yes. Sharp points and edges? Yes. Are bolt ends less than two threads rounded and smooth? Yes. Is equipment free of openings can cause a head entrapment? Yes, you should check your swing seats there. Is equipment free of any uh, insect, bird, or animal infestations? And I'm going to go through this. It, does it have adequate use zones? Yes. Uh, free of rust and loose paint chips? And I'm going to keep going. Uh, if I wanted to see any of these, I could click that category and see all questions in that category. So I'll click to respond again. I'm going to go yes. We've got one defect here and it actually has to do down with swings so I'm going to keep saying yes through that. We do have an upgrade coming by the end of the week which will say yes to all. You'll be able to say yes to everything in the category. 
here we're actually looking at slides that will make it so are chains free of twist or excessive wear yes are s hooks free of wear and closed within 0.04 of an inch no so now we're going to cut and take you over there here you can see the s hook is not properly closed and so we have to cite that as a defect. Are S hooks free of wear and closed to within 0.04 of an inch? No. So our code is needs maintenance or corrective action taken. If I'm in the field and I correct that, I can say corrective action taken. Here it needs maintenance. The problem is it could be, there's a lot of problems here, broken, burnt, corrosion, cracked, curled, damaged. Uh, I'm gonna just say dangerous here. Our part, it knows you're in swings, so it brings up parts for swings. It is an S hook. The priority, that's an entanglement issue, so it's a high priority. I'm going to list it as a two. And the action, we want to close it. Now we want to take a picture. Here, we can get a picture from the photo library or take a picture. I want to take a picture, and I'm going to take a picture of the S hook, which I have. I'm going to click use. You would probably want to stand away a little bit, so, so the person that would be in charge of uh, performing the upgrade uh, will, will get a good idea of where it is. But here I've gotten that. I could add another defect, or actually I'm going to go to the scroll to the top to the next question. Are the bushings free of excessive wear? Yes, 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 yes. And now I'm at the end. So I can hit complete. Confirm that you're complete. Now, once every inventory item, if you had more inventories, each individual inventory item would have to say complete. Once it does say complete, you can go back to this. In this cool new part, your inspection is actually, actually completed. And as you can see, uh, upload is available to hit. Here, I have Archdale Park. If I go here, on another inspection I have in progress, and I go to edit, I have two inventory items that are not started. So I cannot upload that inspection until all inventory items have completed inspections. Again, if I had internet connection, you cannot do this without internet connection, but when you get back to the office or in Wi-Fi, or if you have 3G internet connection, I could hit upload, and it says the connection is required for this action, and I can upload this back.